Welcome back, Unity people. It's James again with another wonderful part to the 2D platform gaming series. This is actually a special request video from Hanser19. He's requested a tutorial on teleportation platforms, doors, and portals kind of thing. Like matching colors lead to each other or one color leads to another. Now, I'm not sure if he means something like the video game Portal or Portal 2, or if he just means um, moving a player from one place to another. So what we're going to do in this video, I'm going to take this platform and I'm going to duplicate it, move it up, and I'm going to put another, um, I'm going to basically make the teleporter move you here, and then back if you jump back in it. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and start this. To start out, what we're going to do is go to Game Object, Create Other Particle System. Okay, this is going to create a shuriken, I think it's called, particle system. And as you can see, there's pretty big particles shooting out of there. Um, we're going to use this as our portal effect. Okay, so to start, what we're going to do is go ahead and um, pre-warm the loop. What that means is that when the game starts, particles will already be in space. It doesn't start out shooting them. Okay, we're going to make the lifetime of these. Um, that's how long the particles last when they shoot out. I'm going to go ahead and make it two. Actually, that's a bit tall. Let's make it just an even one. Uh, one. Okay, or 0 0.5. How about one? There we go. So one's a pretty good effect. Um, Let's see here. Speed, um, three. No, I think five's good. Leave it where it is. Start size, um, yeah, one's good. Okay, we don't need any special rotations. Um, color we can leave for right now. And simulation space is local. Max particles is 1,000 at a rate of 10. That looks pretty good to me. Okay, now we can customize the shape. Okay, so if I zoom into my game window here, you'll notice that I get this blue cone shape for my particle system. Um, I'm going to go ahead and decrease the angle so it is down to, um, let's say, 2. And I'm going to go ahead and increase the radius to 2 so it makes a cylinder. Okay. Now it's important to see that the position of this particle system is 0, 0, 0. That is the game center of the entire world. Okay. And we can do some other effects in here. Like I'm going to click on size over lifetime. And what this basically does is uh, you get this graph editor at the bottom and you can pick any one of these curves or click and drag in this window to create your own. If you'd like, I'm just going to go ahead and set it to a downward slope and you can see in the game window that your particles will decrease in size over their lifetime. Okay, So that's a pretty cool particle effect. Uh, if I bring the game window back up here, you'll notice that our particles are kind of blurry while everything else in our game is pixelated. So we want these to become a pixelated sort of mesh. So we're going to create a new material. I'm going to right click and create a material. I'm going to name it um, Particle because that's what it's for, it's for the particles. So in here, all the way at the bottom of the particle um, system, we have a selector called renderer. And in the renderer, it's set to the default particle. You can grab your particle material and drag it in, and then you get squares, and it's great. And if we go back up to the particle system here, all the way at the top, we can actually change the color of these normally to what we want. It's not going to change it here because this is following the material of our particle material. But if we change the color here, you can see we get a change in the colors. Okay, so that's what we want. And now what we're going to do is with our particle system, where is it? There it is, particle system. You'll notice that this transform does not have any other stuff on it. So what we're going to do is go ahead and do a component, add a physics box collider. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you can have a pretty good guess that this is going to end up as a trigger because, you know, I like them. 
they're cool. We're going to go ahead and increase the vertical size of Y. Or I'm sorry, not Y. Let's go with the zero there. Our, uh, let's rotate this around. Uh, let's set the Y to 5 back where it was. We'll set the X to 6 and Z to 7. No, not 77, just 7. And that's a pretty good size for our player. We want this box collider to be a trigger, though. So we're going to say is trigger. And actually, those particles are really big when they start out. So in my particle system, I'm actually going to change the start size to 0.25. And now they're kind of small, and I'm not getting a lot. So I'm just going to go ahead and increase the emission up to 50. Actually, that's a bit much. Let's go with 25. OK, that's good. OK, so this is our um, our teleporter as of sorts. OK, so that's what it looks like right now. Um, but it isn't really all that effective to know that it's a, a teleporter. And what I mean by that is it, it just looks like particles. If I was to flip this upside down, it would just look like rain. Um, so we need something at the bottom to let people know that they're they're stepping into or onto something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add to this particle system another component right after I shut off my is or make sure my is triggers tracked. That's right. And we can close that and I'm going to go to component and I'm going to add an effect and nope, it's not in there. I know it's in here somewhere. Rendering and light. There it is. Okay. This is going to be a point light. I want to draw the halo. Okay. And you'll see that this halo is appearing when I move it over another object like this right now. So I'm going to go ahead and increase the intensity. And I'm going to change the color. Actually, I can leave the color the way it is, but let's make sure that it changes when I want it to. Yeah, okay. The halo effect is not exactly what I'm looking for. Let's get rid of that. Um, hmm. We'll just go with the particles for right now. Maybe later on we'll have something else. So this is a portal, this trigger area for our particle system and the wonderful box collider that goes with it. So like all things in Unity, we now need a script to tell it what's going on and, uh, and let it know that, hey, you should teleport somebody somewhere. Okay, so this is going to be my particle system. I'm going to rename this to portal. Okay. So when they enter the portal, it will jump them to another position, which will we'll duplicate it and put another one up here later. 